the label. All right, so a health scare on the West Coast. Doctors say that a drug-resistant superbug may be linked to the deaths of two patients at an L.A. hospital. Seven other people are infected, and now the number of patients who may have been exposed is growing. Superbugs uh, are scary things, Will, and uh, now it looks like this one may be a reality. What do we think? Good morning, Martha. Well, right now we think that nearly 180 people could be infected, and that's a major concern because the superbug, commonly referred to as CRE, can kill 40 to 50 percent of patients once the infection spreads to a person's bloodstream. UCLA discovered the outbreak late last month while running tests on a patient. That's when they realized that a specialized endoscope, one that's inserted down the throats of about a half a million patients every year, may have transferred the CRE bacteria from patient to patient. 179 people may have been infected between October and January at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. While medical experts say this is a major wake-up call, Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel points out that CRE is hard to catch. I don't expect this to cause a widespread outbreak in the community. That would be extremely unlikely. This bacteria is not airborne, so you don't expect it to fly around. We've been talking about measles lately, how contagious that is. This is nothing on that order. UCLA says that the patients who may have been infected have been sent home testing kits. Martha. Wow. All right. So what do they think can be done to stop it? Well, medical experts say that there's three things. The first is that medical equipment needs to be better sterilized, better clean. UCLA says that it did sterilize its endoscopes. Two still ended up being infected. Then medical experts say that we need to not overuse antibiotics. Superbugs are resistant to most drugs. And then the medical industry needs to create new antibiotics to be able to better fight superbugs just like this. Martha. Yeah, we've been hearing about the overuse of antibiotics for a long time. Well, thank you very much. From